All right, what's the chip of the day? It's a very old chip. <laughs> it's XR, XR, XR made all kinds of cool chips. Um, I don't think they're in business anymore, but this is an XR2240. I noticed this was still for sale at the local store, so I bought a couple um, just because they are uh, something you probably haven't seen before. So I showed once before a uh, like an 11-bit counter. It was a 4060, I think, or a 4040. There's two of them that are a little bit different than one another. Um, and those are, you know, like 10-bit, 11-bit, 12-bit counters in CMOS. And uh, this one is basically a 8-bit counter attached to a 555. That's basically what it is. So it has a 555 inside, you set up an RC network, and it oscillates, and then it counts. And so, yeah, it's great, because a lot of times the 555, if you want it to do really, really long durations, you, you end up with very, very large capacitors, and they will vary all over the place with temperature and stuff like that. So it's nice to have a fast clock and then divide it down. So this allows you to divide it down by, uh, by eight bits. Um, it operates from four volts to 15 volts, TTL compatible. Um, I don't know if you can see the uh, diagram here very good, but there's a time base. This is basically the 555. It has uh, the RC comes in here um, and the counter is here. There's some control. You can turn it on and off with a, with a set reset flip flop. There's a trigger and a reset that says make it go and this says make it stop. Uh, so you can turn it into a stop, like a stopwatch type of thing. Um, let's see here. There's, there's a weird hmm, regulator, regulated output. So I think there's a f 5 volt. I don't remember. There's some type of internal uh, voltage regulator that comes out 15, and you use that. Uh, you loop it around and bring it into 14 um, because it's oh, I, it's it's kind of a silly design, but I guess that made it more flexible um, or made it easier to test in production or something. I'm not sure about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say about this thing. There's some uh, the data sheet's really cool. It has some neat uh, ideas in the back. Uh, one of my favorites is, yeah, something like this, uh, where these are all open collector outputs as well. That should be noted. These are all open collector outputs. And so this has a R2R ladder uh, of resistors going into an op amp. So basically as it's counting, it's actually stair-stepping a voltage output. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a, a, neat, uh, a neat idea. So this one uh, takes the similar idea and uh, turns it into an analog to digital converter. Uh, you have a comparator, you let it cycle up and then it stops uh, when it sees things. So anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at the circuit down here. So I have a 10K and a 10 microfarad as the uh, master clock. I'm looking at pin one, which is the lowest, least significant figure of a uh, figure, least significant digit of the counter. So you can see its speed that it's counting. If I move it to pin two, it will be half of that, and then half of that, and then half of that, and then half of that. You get the idea. We'll go up here to eight. <laughs> okay. We'll see how long this takes. We're going to have to wait for a falling edge because we didn't know where we started just there. We've started three, four. Are, we, are you counting? How many seconds? Six. I don't know. Eight. Twelve. Maybe twelve seconds. I don't know. Something like that. Use your stopwatch. Um, oh, I don't have my watch on today. I have to go put it on. Um, anyway, there you go. It's kind of a weird little chip. Probably won't see them ever again. <laughs> Probably won't ever need one. Just use a, just use a microcontroller. <laughs> Most of these chips got like booted out the door once microcontrollers came along and became super, super cheap. You just do everything in microcontrollers now. You set up a software timer and, uh, and do things. But anyway, this is a uh, XR. Like I said, they made all kind of cool chips. XR2240, chip of the day.